Hi guys, White Witch 110 here. Sorry I haven't uploaded another episode of my grandfather's journal. I did do one on Thursday, absolutely hated the way it turned out, so I didn't upload it. Yesterday I was totally washed out by the time I got home, so I figured, no, nope, definitely not. So here I am today on Saturday. Again, there's going to be spots I won't be able to understand his writing. Even Hubby was looking at some of it last night, and he's like, what? Uh, huh? And some of them we were like, what does that say? How do you pronounce that? So again, I'll let you know when I get to a point where I'm not sure what he wrote. This is another photo of him. I don't know where it was taken but uh, it's another photo that I have of him now I believe I was going to start a diary from February 13th and he has here Feb 13 a very nice day orders given out to proceed to France on the morning of 14th all the boys are in high spirits at the news. We got to move. Our OC of the old first bid the boys goodbye. Feb 14th, Valentine's Day. We left Dibgate for France at 6 a.m. Pulled away from shore at 7.30 a.m. And arrived Southampton 1.30 p.m. The, tr the trip was very good, and it was a beautiful day. Old Long, it might be? Not sure about that. The industries of Southampton are worth seeing. We got two or three hours to have a walk around. Embarked for France about three o'clock. It was on our way and was on our way at 4.45 p.m. Oh, what a trip across to Le Havs. Not sure. Never, so, never was so sick in my life, and everybody was the same. Feb 15th. Arrived at Le Havarat, 2 a.m., and was on board on, until daylight. Disembarked at 4.30 a.m. Had a seven-mile route march up to the base. The industries of Le Havarat are also great. Saw some of the... There he is. 95th boys. I knew it. I knew it, my boo. <laughs> Booty boo. Wow. Oh, Mo. Mom's right here, you little bum. Boo boo. You gonna say hi? Say hi. Say hi. Boo do. Boo boo. You gonna say hi? Hmm? Huh? Yeah. Okay, can I go back to reading Grandpa's? Hey, boo. Go see dad. Go see dad. Go see dad. What a cat. I knew it would only be a matter of time. Then he would be here. He's such a little fart. Okay, saw some of the 95th boys. Very good weather. And the most... Of the kids got very little to eat, by the way. They asked for hardtack. Arrived in camp at 11.30 a.m., had dinner. Inspected by O.C., then outfitted in quick order. Y.M. at night, to bed at 7.30 p.m., and it seemed good 
It seemed good to the night before. Oh my. I don't know what that was. Feb 16th. Got out at 4.20 a.m. And the morning was just... What is... Feb got out at 7... Is that a 7 or 4 now? 7 a.m. And the morning was put in at getting equipped, ready to leave for the front at any time of the day. Our stay at the base is to be short. All right. The most of the day I just put in at writing letters. We never left the base as we expect it to do. Feb 17th, Saturday. They had us on cleaning up around the camp. And scraping mud off the road during the morning. And we are standing by for orders to move up to the front line. Had supper at 3.30 p.m. and left camp with everything completed for the front at 5 p.m. It was a hard route march to La ha Have. On the way, we had to go down 286 steps. Arrived at the yards at 6.45 p.m on a good warm good and good in a good warm condition entertained at 11 p.m. and moved off at 11:30 p.m. but never covered much ground during the night we got a fine lecture from the OC before leaving the base sunday feb 18th Weather foggy in the forenoon, but nice in the afternoon. We moved along at a slow rate, had a good look at the country, lots of quaint things were to be seen. Lots of fun watching the kids after, after, I can't read that one, when passing. I'm passing through a large French town. Arrived Aberville, 7 p.m., and stayed there for a few hours. Slept good during the night. Saw a good stretch of the Somme River. That's what it looks like, Somme River. On the way. Mun, Feb 19th. Arrived Tinquit. Tinquits. Looks like T-I-N. Might be a C Q U E S. I'm not sure. 7:20 a.m. Had a good wash up and fed. Weather very musty, misty, and damp. And they stayed at that place. <laughs> Two hours forty minutes which means we moved away at 10 a.m. Lots, lots of march way, work being, railway, lots of railway work being done along the line. German prisoners helping out all along the line a good deal. Arrived at Odd. Oddbury, 12.45 p.m., and the end of our slow trip. Moved up to our battalion, 4.30 p.m., and it was, at five, it was a five or six mile route march, which brought us only four miles or so from the firing line. The name of the place is Mount St. Cloy. We had a big hunt all over the place for our unit and were sure glad to get into quarters. 
heard lots of experiences of the boys who have been up the line and got enough mud. Things quiet on the front, bad weather, my first drink. Tuesday, Feb 20th. Weather very dull and lots of rain. Mud up to the ankles everywhere. Had all particulars taken in regards to our next of kin. And so on in the morning. Done nothing in the afternoon. Attached to Sequoy along with Bent Bathgate, Peter Bathgate, Bruce and Levine. Most of the boys busy after livestock met Frank Allen and the other boys. And it has here information, mm, must be for one of, I'm guessing one of his cousins? Private M. Hahn, Brass Band, 160th Battalion, Bramshot Camp. And then it has Miss Thelma Hahn, and then that's Wharton, an address there. So I'm guessing he put possibly a cousin's address in there. Wednesday, February 21st, got a test on the flap and done a little station work, met G. Ryan, one of the 95th boys, and saw one of the sergeants, have met a number of the boys since landing in France. I'm in here busy, sir. Yeah, meow. Hang on. Okay, I guess he's going to stay here and keep quiet. Oh, but where was I? Now you want to go out. Good Lord, you're worse than a five-year-old. None of the boys since, okay. One of the 95th boys saw one of the sergeants have met a number of the boys since landing in France. Thursday, February 22nd, weather still very dull and foggy. Got a lecture on what we have to do in the trenches from the OC. In the PM, we were out on station work and had to and had to quit on account of fog, heavy bombard. Friday, February twenty third, had a bath in the morning and were issued gas box respirator. It was some bath, believe me. Never done anything in the afternoon. Still, the weather remains bad. Are prepared to leave for the front line. Saturday, February 27. We left for the front line at 7.30 a.m. Got to our destination after a hard plow through the mud. Weather a bit clearer, and the sun actually came out. Saw first aeroplane since being in France. The day was quiet. Sunday, Feb 25th. All safe and sound, and have had no scares yet. The weather was the best we've had for a long time. Aeroplanes active. We are getting well fed. The day was comparatively quiet. Monday, Feb 26th. Weather very good. Things were pretty lively through the day and I got my first good scare. I beat it for the dugout. Trembling with bravery. Have one of our machines brought down over our own lines. Received my first lot of mail after supper, since I hit France. Felt more than glad to get it indeed. Had my first wash, shave, and clean up within the three days in. Gas attack to have been pulled off, but the wind changed. Tuesday, Feb 27. We learnt 
that the pilot and observer of the machine brought down yesterday were killed. Most of the day was quiet. About supper time, we didn't feel altogether pleasant. As a good few shells lit around the top of our dugout. Weather not so bad and everything going along fine. Wednesday, Feb 28th. Not very much doing throughout the day. A few whiz bangs now and then. But oh, my, my, oh, but oh my, about 10.30 p.m., they sure let us have it for 15 minutes or so. But our guns soon put the kibosh on it all. I was in the middle of a sweet repose at the time. No, at that. Nobody wounded, so they say, which is lucky. Weather cloudy all day. Thursday, March 1st. About 2 a.m., a large bomb, bomb abundant started and never let up until about 7 a.m. After, not on our sector though, Ju gas attack pulled off by the 4th, bomb followed. A very fine day which enabled a lot of aerial work. We were moved from Sikoy to Hans to Hars at noon. Friday, March 2nd. Weather real foggy. I was on water carrying. We left the trenches at about 12 noon and the day turned out to be a nice one. We were on the Arns, Ars, Ars? front, had a good meal before we left the trenches and had another good feed when we arrived at Mount St. Croix. Moved to the east, to the Estrell? Oh, I definitely don't know what he wrote there and sure had some walking to do throughout the day and a lot of hunting around for quarters. Saturday, March 3rd, we attended no parade at all except the pay parade, which of course we'd never miss. My first pay in France and I have got on to the money easy enough. The day was very nice Got to bed good and early, slept well. I think, hmm, okay, I'll read the fourth, okay, I'll read the fourth and the fifth, and then that'll be for this, this evening, Sunday, March 4th. Done nothing all day outside of cleaning up in the general and ate all day long. Almost. Weather nice and sunny. Just after dinner, a German airplane flew over our heads at a height which made him almost invisible to the naked eye. Our aircraft guns fired at him, but nothing happened. The 28th gave us a good bit of music on their brass band. It's now only about 7.15 and I'm under the blankets. Everything going along fine. Received letter from wifey and a Jack Canuck. Church service held at 10.30 a.m. March, Monday, March 5th. Never done any parade all day. It snowed a good bit last night, but cleared up before the day was over. Wrote letters the most of the day. 
Tuesday, March 6th. Very fine days. Airplanes going over by bunches. Out on station work in the morning and had a bath and a good change of clothes in the afternoon. Nothing to do in the evening but then do in the evening side of writing and eating. No wonder some of his pictures he look chunky. When we've nothing to eat, rather cool evening. Wednesday, March 7th, up at 6.30 a.m., kept busy fi fixing up ready to move again by 8 a.m., and sure was kept going. We are now in a town about three or four miles from Estri something. Have a good place for, a, for our billet after a lot of work in cleaning the place up. Not so much our holes as other places. Weather good and cold with a strong cold wind. All is Jack, all is Jake, and we are good and comfortable in our new place. I guess that was a saying back then. Good as Jake. So that is it for this evening. We're getting closer to where I thought we were. Well, it's still a few pages off until he mentions... Vimy Ridge. I hope you've enjoyed, now that I finally got around to it again, that part of his journal. And again, if you're out in your malls and you see the veterans at the tables, make sure to get your poppy, wear it on the left side, and if you... If you feel, I don't know what the word is, ah, check over the other things that they have, the, the earrings, the pins, the hats, the, what else did they have, t-shirts, here is, that's one of the earrings, well, I have both, but I'm just showing you one, um, yeah, it, it all goes to them and to nobody else, and they really do appreciate it. I was very proud to give a copy of my grandfather's diary to one of the veterans today, and he assured me that it's going to be staying at his legion, and he had tears in his eyes. also gave it to another gentleman that we see. He works in the grocery store and his eyes also teared up. It made me feel good that my grandfather's journal is being shared with people who appreciate it, who want to know firsthand through his words what he experienced there. And I'm very proud of my grandpa after reading this and everything that he went through. I'm grateful that he came back. Or else, as I said before, none of us would be here. So, to my loyal subscribers, thank you very much for dropping in again. And to those of you who have become new subscribers, welcome. I hope you enjoy the videos that you see here. If you do, please give them a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. I always get back to them and share out if you so wish. And if you're just coming by to check things out, consider becoming a subscriber. Welcome you with open arms. Check out the other videos. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you'll know when I upload. And you go ahead, give thumbs up to the videos you like. Do leave a comment, I will get back to you and I will check out your channel. 
as well. So, until tomorrow, ciao for now.